Hello, hello, hello! What's up, Madlang people? I'm going to share to you the hacks that I've done with my roll-up drum kit. And remember about the issue about the pedal? Well, pedal's gone now. I cut it off because it's not only making too much noise. Um, the response when you're using it is not that great. So you know when you step on a pedal it doesn't really help when you're playing the drums so this is gonna be kept because who knows I might use this for another hack um, but what I've got is this one it's a proper pedal from Rock Band uh, 3 for um, Xbox and this bit it's 3.5 so I'm using an adapter and then um, by the way the rock band um, set was given to me by Mark and Chris so shout out thank you for that and then I got this one a sustain pedal uh, by Chase uh, I'm using this for my MIDI keyboard that again given by Mark and Chris so thank you for that as well um, this is gonna be our hi-hat pedal and then this is our kick our bass pedal now because I chopped off the pedal I bought this one so I can connect those two pedals to the original lead for the foot pedal of the roll up drum kit. Um, initially, it was like a Y um, splitter, but it didn't work because the splitter, once you plugged in the pedals, it only chooses the hi hat. So both pedals are now becoming a hi-hat pedal. So I had to cut it and figure out the wirings. And there are three wires from the splitter, in this one. And two wires from this, from the uh, foot pedal lead. So I had to know which color to connect and I found out which one to connect but I did a trial and error, plug it in, step on the pedal, if it worked and one at a time I just I started with the kick, I didn't cut the, the um, hi-hat pedal yet and then um, try it and then once it's done I had to duct tape it but I soldered inside so that it's much um, secured anyway these are just temporary hacks and it works so just to highlight this one this pedal has really got a good action for your uh, foot even the uh, tension the hardness when you step on it, it it replicates the actual pedal so it's really nice um, on the other hand the hi-hat it's a little bit disappointing because not only it doesn't look like your uh, hi-hat pedal but also the roll-up drum kit it doesn't respond well when you try to do the close and open hi-hat you have to have a very very good timing of opening it and it's a bit when you step on it and then you release it will respond up to this area when in the actual hi-hat when you re release your foot even though slightly there's already a response to it this one is almost when it reaches the top that's when the response goes so it's difficult with this one and worse 
with the original pedal so um, I just cut it off and will make use of this for now and also this is quieter than this one that's it for our hat and we'll demo it and then you'll be the judge um, if you ask me if it's worth it to buy roll up drum kit and then do this hack uh, I was just lucky to have people who are donating or giving me stuff it's, if I didn't have this one I would have used the sustain pedal because I already got this and then I will not cut this one off so that it's gonna be paired like this uh, or to buy another one of these which is also about 10 pounds and then plus the splitter which is also another cost not long ago I've seen on uh, I think face bay an old uh, electronic drum kit which is I don't know the brand but I I assume it's also a cheap brand but they're just selling it for 50 pounds and if you total your expense here with this hack it will reach 30 to 40 pounds so why not buy the proper electric drum kit second hand as long as everything's complete and working then go for that uh, second hand electronic drum kit so that's it guys see you again soon and enjoy the demo Bye.